When you first log on, this is what your screen will look like. Now, you might have some different settings, so it won't be exactly like this, but it'll be pretty close. In the top middle of your screen, you're going to see the current date when you log in, and we do a five-week cycle. And if you want to change a particular week you want to work on, you click on the calendar icon, and it'll open up the, con the current month that you're on. And if I want to change my menu for next week, which would be the 15th, for example, I just click on that date, and it'll load in the menu for that next week. So you can always see the current week plus four weeks in the future, and you just change the calendars you need to. To the right of the date is a resident count, and this is the number of people that you're serving. This is going to scale your recipes and your shopping list. And if you want to change it to a different number, you just click on a different number there and click anywhere else on the screen, and you'll see that it's scaling all the recipes to 50 or a different number depending on what you're configurating it. Now, sometimes you'll see that number to the right of the recipe to show your production number, and sometimes you won't. It just depends on your situation, but that's what that uh, resident count does for you. We also do seasonal menus. In the upper left-hand corner, if you change your menus manually, you're going to see this pull-down. So Grove Menus 1 could be your spring-summer um, cycle. Grove Menus 2 could be your fall-winter, and you can change it back and forth as you choose. If you do not see a pull down there, that means your menus are changing automatically with the seasons, and sometimes that'll be twice a year or four times a year, depending on your preference. Right below that are some tabs. You'll see menu, edit menu, shopping list, and so on, and this is your navigation bar. Below that's another series of buttons, and generally these have to do with printing things for the week. For example, week at a glance or the prep pull sheet. Below that, you're going to see uh, your each individual day, and each day is going to have four buttons, today's menu, extensions, production sheet, and edit day, and it'll be particular to that day. At the bottom of every day, you're going to see a dollar amount, and that's the price per resident per day for food cost on a national average. Some of you, it'll be your actual pricing if you have that configured. In the very bottom right-hand corner, you're going to see what week you're on. In this particular week, we're on week three of that five-week cycle. And then below that is going to be a little bubble, or a little dot, dot, dot. And you're going to have this on every screen. And this is how you get help. And you can just click on that little button, that little dot, 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 and you can call us, you can email us, you can chat, and you can watch a video tutorial. And that's what you're doing now. Every screen is going to have a video tutorial specific for that screen. Now there's a couple of uh, buttons that um, I'm going to go over that when you click on them, they will not have a help screen. The rest of them will. So for example, print my book is just a place where you can print various items and put it all in one PDF file. And you just put a check mark next to each item that you want to see. The only thing you want to make sure you do is that for the recipes, Make sure you put check marks in the recipes before you do print my book. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. And then you just click on print my book, and that'll print all these different items in one PDF file. Um, also, there's an edit day button. Now, this edit day allows you to edit your menu a day at a time. And you can watch the video tutorials for editing your menu when you click on edit menu. And I recommend you do edit menu versus uh, edit day just because it edits the menu for the week and it also saves it automatically. Uh, on this one, when you click on edit day, you can edit the menu and then you've got to click on save day and that'll save your changes. Um, now the last thing I want to go over is how to print your recipes. There is a check, there's a box uh, to the left of every recipe. So you can put a check mark in each recipe that you want to select, and you can pick one or two or ten. And then after you've selected them, you can click on Print Recipes. It'll open up a PDF file, and you can look at your recipes. If you want to do the whole day and see all the recipes for the day, they, we have a box here next to Sunday or to each day. You can turn them on and off. And I can do all of Mondays. Or you can do all of lunch. You just turn these on and off and do which ones you want to do. There's even a select all. You can do all the recipes and then print them. 
And just remember as you select the recipes, if you decide to do print my book, you want to have check marks first, then you click print my book, and then make sure that recipes clicked on here and any other items you want to be in your book at that time.